What's up guys? Today's the big day of giving the boat to Antonio Torres. We have pulled up over here at Lake Athens in Athens, Texas, where we will be handing the boat, the, the titles, the keys, and the check of the $5,000 to Antonio. We literally just pulled up. I'm gonna hop out, get the boat set up, get it ready, and then he will be here in just a little bit and then we will jump into getting him this boat and catching his reaction as far as uh how excited he's gonna be because i know i'm pumped i'm pumped and i'm sad at the same time because i really did enjoy the boat so uh it's gonna be cool to see antonio take it over and get to use the boat i know he had said back in the winter announcement that he'll be using it for fishing and maybe doing some duck hunting let's jump out get the boat set up and then we'll hand it over to Antonio. So let's go check it out. I'm about to get the boat set up, get it unhooked from the truck, get it cleaned up a little bit. And then Antonio is actually probably pretty close by. So once I'm done with that, we will go over to where he's at, grab him and bring him over here to the boat and then catch his reaction of being able to take this bad boy home. So let's get it set up. All right, we are about to walk over here, get Antonio. He's got his, looks like he's got his wife and his kid with him. So we're gonna walk back over. Uh, we got the boat kind of tucked back, hidden behind my truck. And then we'll do the reveal of him seeing the boat for the first time. What's up? Oh man, I've been sitting on this needle waiting on this. Man, you've been waiting for this day, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, it's going man, on, bro. It's awesome, it's awesome. All right, so I know I like some of your stuff. So mm -hmm. you go by Tony? Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. go by Tony. Yeah, I, Which I, I saw some of your stuff because, you know, Antonio is just because of all the legal stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so sweet. Is it just you or? I got my wife. She's taking say, my your... son in there to use the bathroom real quick. Okay, whoa. We'll wait on this. You got a little bit of a walk. You good with that? You are? Mm -hmm. Ready to see it? Here we go. <laughs> Antonio, which goes by Tony. Tony is about to see the boat for the very first time. So, you ready, dude? Heck yeah, I'm, damn. Woo. I'm so excited. So, so pumped? Yes, All right, yes. let's see it. Oh, man. I like it, that thing's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. It gives me the chills just walking. I know it. I'd be walking up to the thing, man. This part's the fun part for me. <laughs> oh, man. This is it. This thing's so beautiful. <laughs> man, I awesome. still can't believe it. Look at it, boy. Oh, man. All yours now. Does it feel real now? Yeah. You in? All right, so. What? What was it that made you decide to, like, what was it? it was like you saw the first ad or fishing yeah. or anything? I'm looking for stuff for fishing, hunting and stuff and like that. Just popped I up. saw, yeah. And the then pill. you, were you skeptical at all at first? Oh, of course. Always. Yeah, like, man, is this, man. is this actually real or not? Yeah. And then, uh. I went and watched the Rebecca video and yeah. everything like that, man. Yeah, I just took a chance, bought a hat. Yeah, you literally did. Yeah. yeah. That hat, this, this that hat, hat right is what <laughs> this hat is literally what won him this boat. And I'm not kidding because when they sent it over, it was that hat that was that was it. Yeah. And I was I was like, man, it's crazy that someone can spend literally 35 bucks. It's a dream come true. And walk away. I'm so grateful for this man. You guys don't even understand. Man, it, it's, it's awesome. A dream come true for me. Man, it's it just feels good that knowing you one saw it for the first time kind of skeptical which is which honestly i agree too because if it wasn't 
before I ever got into doing this, I was skeptical of that stuff too. Yeah. And <clears throat> knowing that you, thankfully from us, we thank you for taking the chance of wanting to. And then at the same time, being able to have a product that gets shipped out to you and then you actually getting your hands on it and be like, okay, this feels more real. One, the giveaway feels more real. And two, you got your product. Yeah. And uh, that's we, the way I looked at it. Too, and yeah. it's, it's, we're very grateful, very thankful. And then, uh, you know, for you to walk away with this full setup with that hat. Man. man, so thank you for taking the chance. Of man, thank you guys for doing this kind of stuff, man. So yeah. It takes people like you to come true. Yeah. That's awesome. This what week, do you think, Antonio? Good. You like <laughs> it? <laughs> you excited? Sweet. This thing will uh, boot scoot boogie. <laughs> It'll run. Oh, man. But yeah, one thing I've never done with this boat, and I've talked about it in one of the videos, and it might have been in the uh, video of me doing a walkthrough of it. The jack plate. So the jack plate. So the guy who makes his jack plate is out of Christmas. Mm -hmm. So it's not that far down the road. So they call it a rabbit jack. So what you do is take your socket, put your socket on here, mm -hmm. and then click it back, drop your thing. These are torqued, and it even tells you they're torqued at 40, 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. So loosen these up, and you can literally just turn this down or turn it up. But I'm going to tell you right now, the way this boat runs and the way I've seen other boats picture-wise and videos of watching, they actually have their motor sitting up a lot higher. Mm -hmm. So this honestly probably needs to go up. You could probably go up another inch or so about here mm -hmm. so probably a couple clicks two or three clicks and then uh just play with it yeah that's the first boat i mess with with a jack plate too so. me too I mean, i've never i've never you know at first when we were looking at building out the boat on like what i wanted to, the boat to have you know mm -hmm. like i've noticed this brand a lot of people run the two hot suits and not many mercury's yeah that's why i look for the two hot suits uh, i grew up with the mercury back down. Yeah, that's I, I never do, played yeah. with this, but I actually, I've gotten so used to running this motor, driving this boat. My buddy's got a mercury and I love the way this one operates than that mercury operates. Yeah. Took a minute to figure it out and understand and got to play with it, but taking some playing with it. Yeah, so, you know, they both have the pros and cons, but I definitely, you know, I think it was 38, 39 is about the top. And it was actually out here that I could get this boat up to when the lake was like, glass mm -hmm. but from what i've been told with this setup you should be able to do mid 40s because the boat's too big to scoot and it was me one of my buddies and we threw some fishing stuff in here but we're still doing 36. Oh, yeah. so mm -hmm. adding an extra few hundred pounds and still and only drop two miles an hour mm -hmm. that's still pretty good so that lets me know there's a lot more potential out of it than what it was doing yeah what it's doing yeah no it's a uh, it's got probably one thing about this motor. Uh, this motor doesn't have an hour meter on it. Oh, wow. So I kind of had to monitor. So I'm going to say it probably got maybe close to seven hours on it. So you still got a few more hours of use out of it before it needs its first, like this okay. little, little service. The kit for the, it's like the paperwork and everything for the motor. I actually put it in the department over there. Okay. So you'll have it. But man, dude. Do walk around. So check it out. <laughs> Look at the storage apartments. I put not uh, in here are the adult life jackets. So I put all the life jackets in here. Okay. Yeah. Check it out. Oh, it's your baby now. <laughs> oh man. So you have um, that compartment right there. This is uh, where your gas and everything is. Yes, I mounted your fire extinguisher right there, so it's easy access. Uh, of course, the only thing with the gas tank and the fire extinguisher being right here, it kind of makes a little strange butt that you can plug in, in and out. But, uh, but yeah, you got to look good. Huh? I'll be honest, this boat does really, really well. Uh, I, I haven't even used that boat top, other than just kind of tinkering with it, just you know, make sure it's working and whatnot. But never actually use it to pump water out of the boat. So. I, I never really was. All right, kid, get All right, so you'll see in here. Oh, man. You got your Millennium seat. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a new chair. Yeah. Perfect for 
Yeah. The only thing you'll, the only thing you'll need is like a, I'm going to say probably like a 12 inch pole. Okay. Uh, you can ask her. I bought, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I thought the deck was down here. And I was like, oh yeah, I need, I got a two foot one. Oh, okay. And that song, the seat was, my feet, my feet were hanging <laughs> yeah. off the seat. I was like, yeah, my, I was six foot tall. My feet only be dangling. So, uh, I got you an anchor, your throw cushion, your uh, paddle. Here's your your uh, ropes for your anchor. Thank you. Uh, this one already has a plus, oh. I mean, a hook on it, so you can either use it for this or you can just rig this one up for that. But yeah. one, pretty much, I bought one for the anchor and one for the, one. the boat itself to tie off, fishing can tie off anything. Thank you. Uh, still waiting on, still waiting on the freaking yeah. light bar stuff. So. And the trailer motor bracket. I was reading that they do that stuff a lot with them light bars. Because I was going through, you know, kind of stuff about having. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's the same camo pattern as this boat. It, they look slick. They're just, you know. Man, I'm in love with it. Can you show them how to turn the lights on? Yeah, so over here, uh, where your whole panel is. Mm -hmm. So, because there was enough on here, I left. Um, this switch is courtesy lights. Yeah. I actually left this one. It's already rigged up and everything. So when that light bar kit comes in, we'll it'll be it'll be wired into this switch. Okay. But okay. this one right here is your accessory switch. We'll turn your inside lights on. Look at that. So you got your green LEDs on the inside. Uh, this one actually controls the outside. Okay. So because we need another switch, but with this switch is a dual switch. So if you hit the top of it, your rear lights. And the lights on the side of the boat okay. reflecting off the hand. Uh, or You're really if you bright. get down, dark. <laughs> then you just have your back on. Because I will tell you, running it at nighttime, the, the outsides aren't as bad as the insides are, but you get that reflection back in your face when you're running at nighttime. So it makes it kind of, yeah, that glare kind of hard to see. I will say, when it's warmer outside at nighttime, I would much rather run just these when you're running down the lake because you get a million bugs oh. flying in your face <laughs> from the freaking lights. Yeah. And but one thing we did find out, so back on this back part of this lake, mm. there's a shallow spot and this lake's actually pretty clear. With these lights on at night time, I'm not joking, it attract the fish. Oh yeah. And they're swimming everywhere and you can sit there and watch them and I was like, man, it's freaking sweet. I love these lights. <laughs> yeah. I love these lights. So uh, that's how you operate that. Of course, you have these are your nav lights. Mm -hmm. So don't get me lying. I don't know which. I don't know if this the top turns your stern and I mean uh, your backlight and your nav lights on, mm -hmm. or you know, or it's um, down turns. But when that that bar gets hooked up mm -hmm. front, because it'll have the light, nav lights built into it. Mm -hmm then it'll be wired into this. So you won't ever have to use the pole in the front anymore. You only have to use your stern pole. So uh, the build pump, which you can hear it running. Mm -hmm. Now it has a live oil switch, but there's not a live oil. So I don't know if that's just something they do from the factory as far as switching. Yeah. So. Something to add in later? Yeah. Or? And then here, these are your, these are reset. In case something happens, you know, it's almost like a, you know, a temp fuse. Yeah. Yeah, so blow, 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 it works. I actually used it. Uh, one day we spent at Cattle Lake. I had to charge my, keep my phone charged yeah, up from yeah. all the video stuff. So it works pretty good. Oh man! But yeah, that's pretty much it on the inside. Like I told you, that compartment over there is where all your life jackets are. Mm -hmm. One thing I don't have, I don't have those for little kids. So those are just your adult life jackets. Mm -hmm. uh, There's your lights. It says rear and the front. Thank you. Here's your hot suit book. Uh, it's got a full start in case something happens. It's got an extra spark plug. And then here's the box that pretty much has rigged up and everything you need. You've got your key, uh, your kill switch, plug. Um, a whistle that you gotta have. Um, what is that? A smoke signal. 
for the smoke signal, your horn, in case you need the horn, here's a little ticket for that. Thank you. And uh, I'll let you pull the horn. Uh, this has your boat. Thank you. So, uh, which when you go to register in your name, you'll get one yeah. as well, but I, I, mean, I don't need this, so mm -hmm. at least it'll be in the boat until you get registered. Um, I don't know if you noticed, like on the side of the boat, I never put none of the stickers on. Yeah. Because I just, I did that for marketing purposes because yeah, there's some of you crazy people out there who want to try <laughs> to find out where we live. So <laughs> I kind of try to hide that as much as possible. Thank you. Um, this, I keep this because with this motor, some people don't mind like when you let it down on the back of that rest. Mm -hmm. If you don't. Even when you lock these, that the motor would go down the road, bounce, and it'll turn sideways. I don't know. Something, I don't know if it's my ADD or what. So I use a wrench to tighten up the bolt to make sure that motor stays straight and never moves going down the road. Okay. So I just kept, I've always kept this little house wrench for that. Okay. But that's pretty much your kit that has everything for the boat. Thank you. But you are good to go to take it on the water. Uh, perforated floor. they did this with this DJST model is to make these boats a little bit lighter because mm -hmm. this is the same as the Havoc's uh, DBSD, mm -hmm. which the DBSD is kind of a more higher end and it's more of a hunting boat yeah. where they designed these to be able to be hunting slash racing boat. Oh, okay. So they came up with this perforated floor to lose some of that form and save some weight. Hey, so that's yeah. the only thing different with this boat. Loads pretty good. Uh, very, very easy to load, honestly. Um, trailer, I mean, trailer's brand new. The habit lights up at night time. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty that sweet. Uh, simple. I mean, it's just like any other any other trailer. Yeah. You know, you got your jack goes up and down. Uh, got your hooks and then your plug. I don't know with your truck if you got a four pin. I'm pretty sure I got both. Yeah, yeah or if sure. not, you can have that seven pin. Uh, my trailer, my all my other trailers, I got seven pins. So my truck don't have them. I wish that was one thing to do with my truck. Cause some trucks they have it where you got both. Yes, yeah, both. Mm -hmm. I wish that one had it just for that. But you know, most trailers nowadays are gone with that, yeah, that seven pin. Um, still unbelievable, man. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm so excited. Yeah. I made sure. That's one thing when I pick out the package that have like the aluminum trailers. Mm -hmm. well, the aluminum trailers are not trailers, don't get me wrong. But I just like the look of the black trailer with the black machine wheels. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I made, I made sure it all like went and looked good together. Yeah. Um, these are your, you know, your saber transom mm -hmm. straps. So that way it keeps the rear of the boat when you're going down the road. Yeah. So the rear of the boat's not bouncing. So it, uh, Runs pretty good. I'm excited. I got you your license plate. I never put the license plate on here. Heck, I drove this. We took this boat to uh, Broken Bow Lake in, oh, man. in Oklahoma and did did photos and stuff up there. I drove the whole thing with the thing. With we just outdoor did a cabin out in Broken Bow. Really? Yeah, we had rented a cabin out there not about a couple months ago. It's, I love it. I love it. She it's loves one it of our too. favorite things. Yeah. Yeah, we love going to Broken Bow. Yeah, that's one of my favorite spots too. Mm hmm. Uh, so I got your license. Like I said, I got I got your license plate. Mm -hmm. I got the stickers and stuff for the side of the boat. I'll let you before you leave. I'll swap the plate. I'll let you put your stickers on or whatever yeah. because they're not going to. Whenever you go to get the title moved over to you, the they're gonna the they're gonna keep the plate and the sticker. Yes. Uh, the only thing they're gonna do is pretty much do a name change on the title and then give you your own voter certificate, like that's in that little blue tube. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly. That's pretty much it. All right, so here in just a minute, we'll hook it up to the truck, get, get it unloaded, the get it in the water, and we'll uh, get on out past the buoys and go rip across the lake. Let's do so, it. <laughs> let you drive it. Let you drive it for the first time. So, oh man, I'm excited.
Definitely enjoy it. Oh, I definitely will. You know, the perks of uh, Tony living close by, <laughs> we might do something together. Yeah. Uh, do some fishing together, make a YouTube video out of it. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan fishing. to me. So, all right, so that that's pretty much it, guys. You saw Tony take over the boat, got to see his reaction, uh, got to take him out on the water, let him rip it, and then, uh, Get her loaded up, and now it's time for him to head on to the house and go enjoy it. So, we can't thank you enough. Yeah. Shout out to Recreational Outdoors, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, uh, one last thing. So, if that, that people that are watching this, are, is this real? Yes, this is 100% real. Are we fake? No, you are not. Not, <laughs> not at a all. scam. Not a scam. All right, so. It's a real deal. Uh, you heard from him himself. It, this isn't this isn't fake. This is uh, definitely real. We're not scamming people of anything, taking anybody's money. Uh, you know, we offer you products for you to buy, just like you can buy anywhere else. But allows you to allow him to take home this boat. So, literally, that hat he's got on is what did it. So, 
spent 35 bucks, we got an awesome hat and an awesome boat. <laughs> well, literally, anybody can do it. So, well, that's it. Uh, we'll wrap it up and he's gonna head on to the house and go enjoy his boat, so. All right, there goes Tony Antonio off with his boat. So, you know, it's the real deal. Uh, he got to take home his boat, spent $35. He got that brand new boat, the 5,000 cash, and he's gonna go enjoy it. He, uh, he's got a wife, he's got a five-year-old boy just like me, and he's literally gonna do exactly what we envision as in doing these giveaways so he's gonna go take the boat out go enjoy it with his family teach his kid how to fish out of the boat they've already been fishing so they'll actually he'll actually be able to take his son out go fishing on the boat enjoy it and then you know wish the best of luck to him and hopefully he can catch a bunch of fish he doesn't live too far from us so maybe uh him and i will go out one time and catch a YouTube video, maybe go catch some fish and hang out and enjoy it and keep in touch with them. So congratulations to Antonio, Tony, for taking home that boat, the 5,000 cash. Um, any of you guys watching this, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna check out Row TV, go to Row TV and that's where we'll post all content for anything that's outside of the business such as hunting, fishing, literally anything that we do. So go check it out, Row TV. Um, but yeah, thanks, thanks again for y'all support. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.